Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by students and head football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, you went up to uh, FDU Florham this past Saturday, a uh, big conference game. We were able to come away with a W. A little bit of a slow start, but uh, offense picked it up. You were able to uh, post a pretty big win. Yeah, it was good. It was a good trip for us. Um, you know, it's, I think, our longest conference trip. Yep. So um, getting up there and, and you know, kind of getting things going, you, you know, I think you're exactly right. A little bit of a slow start. Um, you know, something that we've, we've talked about in practice this yeah. week, coming out of the gate, getting ready to rock and roll early. Yeah. Um, but overall, you know, a solid performance, both offensively and defensively. Um, so we're proud of the guys. Yeah. And obviously offensively, um, you know, sorry, Ryan Sedgwick, uh, you know, just his fourth career start. He throws for five touchdowns, runs for another one, and, uh, you know, gets everybody involved in the offense. And so, like, he just has one or two guys. Like, he's getting some different guys involved. And um, just talk about how he's been playing so far. He's been playing well. Um, you know, he hasn't thrown a ton of picks. Um, he's very patient with his reads. I think he's – you're watching him evolve. You know, he's he started four college football games at this right. point. So, you know, it, it, you know it, it's a long process to develop a quarterback, and I think he's off to, to a great start, but still has some work to do. Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, you know, also um, your three senior receivers, Chaz, Vince Lee, and uh, Keenan, all, you know, played well, all got a bunch of targets, a bunch of receptions on Saturday. Absolutely. That's, you know, that's a dynamic group for us. It's a group that, that we've come to depend on. And, you know, I don't think you'll find a harder working group in practice in the weight room and the classroom as those three guys. And, you know, it manifests itself on the field in, in, with the same work ethic. And yeah. for, for us, that, that's the really exciting thing. Yeah, and then defensively holding them, you know, 15 points, second half shutout, and um, you know, really after the first couple drives, you know, pretty much holding them off the scoreboard. Absolutely, but again, I think you know, coming out and giving up a two-play drive to start the game wasn't exactly what we had in mind. Right. You know, again, I think you know, both on both sides of the ball, we were a little sluggish early. Yeah. Um, and I think you know, we've got to address that this week, and it's something that we've talked about and something we're hoping to improve on this Saturday. Yeah, another one of the storylines that's kind of manifested itself here early is uh, time of possession. You hold the ball again for 35, 36 minutes, end the game with just a not, I like think eight, nine minute drive, kind of run out the clock, and uh, just talk about the importance of you know holding on to the football, and being able to do that. Well, the, the biggest thing for us going into this weekend was um, was finishing. Yeah, you know, finishing the game and and you know going on a nine play, you know, no, so I'm sorry, fifteen play, ninety two yards, yeah. almost nine minutes in the fourth quarter. That's what we talk about when we talk about finishing. Yeah. For us, that was very satisfying, very, um, you know, really proud of the guys because that's what we had talked about all week. Uh, you know, time of possession, you know, I think for us, it's you've got to be able to run the football. Yeah. And, and I think when you run the football, you're able to, 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 to add to that time of possession and, you know, it helps our defense you're last. Right. And, yep. you know, so there's a lot of advantages to it, um, you know, it's something that we're going to continue to try to build on. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, ending the game on high note, heading into this week. Um, you're home for the first of three straight at home uh, against a pretty good Widener team that's been throwing up some points. Absolutely. I'm, I'm super excited to actually be home this week. And I, yeah. I feel like we haven't been home <laughs> you know, since last you know, last fall. But you know, for us, it's it, you know, it's an opportunity to play back in Mustang Stadium yeah. and um, you know, have the loud crowd and the atmosphere that, that, that we get here is, is super exciting. But you know, Widener presents its own set of problems. Yeah. You know, they're scoring a ton of points. They're have a receiver that went over 200 yards last weekend, yeah. quarterbacks lighting it up. So we're, we're definitely going to have our hands full for sure. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, this is the final game, you know, before you've got the bye right and smack dab in the middle, five before, five after. Um, so obviously you want to go into, into that week on a high note. Absolutely. You know, we want to, you know, again, for us, it's it's being the best football team that we can be every week. And, yeah. um, you know, I think we're, we're looking forward to giving the guys some rest and get them off their feet for a little bit. But, We've got to take care of business on Saturday first. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we'll wish you the best of luck on Saturday, and I will chat next week. Thank you very much. All right, for Ed Hoddle, this is Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.